Do you guys know what CM stands for? Cookie Monster? <laughs> nope. Practice <It's> management. Not... <laughs> no, it's not for centimeters either. Ha! I forgot about that. It's um because I remember you guys talk about CM Punk. And the thing is, CM in Japan, it stands for commercials. Oh. <laughs> commercials. <laughs> so often when I type it on YouTube, I get that. CM Punk. It's like those oh. are two different things. I mean, magnet. I mean, but if you're already there and you see see a punk, you might as well click on a couple things. Yeah, you yeah. might as well. You're yeah. already there. Come on, bro. That's yep. the code opening. <laughs> okay. okay. I yeah, like yeah. it. I, I like, like it. it. And then boom. <laughs> You yeah. fam, what is up? Yo, 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 yo. Oh, you see the fro? You see the fro? Yo, yo, yo. Oh, oh my god, I can go for some too. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, man, we have a very special guest. Could you please introduce yourself to the people? There you go. Hello, everybody. My name is Podcast Edo, aka Edo the Fourth, and um, I am my content creator for YouTube. Okay, Just that okay. simple. Yeah, I love man, it. Man, I like it. Straight, simple, to the point. Mm. Man, we just had a great time on your podcast. Oh, yes, my sir. God. Thank you for having us on. It was yes. amazing. Thank you. Man, thanks for you guys for coming, too, man. Oh, man, no problem at all, man. Anytime. Call upon us. We shall be there, like instant yeah. transmission. I'm gonna pop Would this be, like, a good time to talk about, like, how I first, like, found you guys for this? Oh, wait. One second before we do. Second. Sure, oh, sure, sure. To get to it. We got to do our intro first. Uh-huh. All right, man. All right, man. If you don't, just in case you don't know, but by this time you already know the ghost. Mm. I'm Chad. You know me is Jeremy, and together this podcast, podcast. this tag team. What's up, hello? <laughs> these Comic Con conquerors here. Mm. We are you, John. John. All right. All right. Ah, now I'm sophisticated. All right. So, yes, floor is yours now. Okay. So, the very first time I found you guys, this was uh, earlier this year during, um, and we're going to get, there's another story into it, and I'll try oh. to make that shorter. Oh, so, I, I was on Instagram, and I was just looking at, like, I was just scrolling through, like, official Sky High from Instagram. He says, so I'm scrolling from the Bronx. So, uh-huh. I was scrolling through videos and then I just saw you guys and it said International Channel for Life and it was like, Ur! guys, scroll back <laughs> up. I'm like, Internet. I'm like, oh, oh. Wow. But here's the story of that is that for International Channel, I mean International Channel, the thing was I had a guest which was my uh, second guest for my podcast named Noel Comics, which I think he he would love, like he would love you guys and also like vice versa. Is okay. um. He's the kind of the first person I've heard about, like for the international channel, because even from where I'm from, I didn't really get to see it at all. So like even the time when I was looking at all this stuff, yeah. it was already gone. So I and the other thing was it was like I've heard it was pay per view too. So it wasn't like a local channel. I get I I guess I I could be wrong though, but. Yeah, it yeah. was on cable. It was yeah, it was, cable, it was cable. cable. So cable you could, like it wasn't like on regular TV, so you couldn't flip to like a regular channel and get it. You had to right, right, to right. Be able to watch it. Yep. And so from that time, and this was during actually Black History Month. One of my videos I was making at this time was for the um, and I believe these were the guys that they are the first Japanese rap group of all time called oh. SDP. That's called Sacha da Par, and there's also you know, we'll all be share. We'll be sharing like links and stuff. So this is oh, like, uh, and it was my second to last Japanese report because, as you guys know, if you guys aren't familiar, I just ended my Japanese reports. But if anybody oh. would like to do other Japanese reports or anything similar to uh, with me, I'm definitely open. But cool. yeah, that was my second to last one, and it was talking about uh such a depart. And this is how like I found you guys is when I was doing this and 
also on that note, like rest in peace to uh uh Yuichi and we uh the two members of YMO, Yellow Magic Orchestra, and also Thurgoy from De La Soul, because that's uh yeah, how yeah, yeah that came to be when I was doing the pie uh the SDP report uh was these guys were really very legendary and they've been just you know taken away from us but you know that's how i found you guys to make uh, a long story as short as possible yeah okay man that's cool man the power of that's you know we always say social media man like we always say it's bad right like it's all oh, man you should spend so much time on social media blah blah but it's right. so cool like when you the correct way it connects us so like yeah. All of people that love anime, us geeks, us nerds, those people that just love it. Like it connects us all in a way. Like, yeah. How random is that instance of you finding us that way? Like that's so cool. Yeah. Right. And even from this, I guess we'll be even discussing like how I even found this stuff in the first place for yeah. sure. Oh, oh yeah. However you guys want to do it. You know? a question. As soon as you finish. Right. Uh, yeah. That yep. Okay. So you know, um my question. Could you kind of explain, like, how you, like, grew up, like, your childhood and how it kind of... Because I always tell Jay this, and he always makes fun of me because I ask these Barbara Walter questions. But but I always feel like something that we did growing up, man, it always leads to us doing, like, on the content creation, acting, like, the creativity side that, that we show. Like, something in our childhood leads us there, man. So if you can just yeah. kind of tell us about your childhood and... I'll let you know. Whatever, Willis. But go ahead. You're the son. <laughs> yeah. I would say the things I definitely picked up from my childhood that led me to, like, where I am right now was definitely uh, filmmaking, a bit of music making, and even uh, learning about, like, different cultures as well. So it all starts off. I know we're not going to go too far back, like, into, like, the day I was born and stuff like that. But, well, I mean, uh, that's actually what I was talking about, but I mean... Oh, we were, we were going back? I just play, I just play, no. I just play. No, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, when, um, I would say, so, like, these three, I guess, three or four elements of how I even got that was, um, as far as movie making, um, I remember, like, um, I used the VCR a lot, and then that was, like, how I first started, but then, like, um, when I was 10 in 2007, that's for Christmas, we got uh, a Windows computer. And then I just started to make like movies from there. And one of my favorite things, I started mixing a lot from a show that pretty much kind of has my name, uh, Ed and Nettie. That was nice. like, I just mixed in uh, that okay. stuff a lot. And that is even how like in... 2011 and even 10 years ago in 2013 i was actually on youtube at that time but i got copyright strike ban because of like trying to do these things but it was even like even having the copyright thing but it's like it's like nah you may have the rules but it means nothing to us and (laughs) as as far as um music I, a lot of people would say, like, it's a figurement of speech, but literally, like, uh, music literally has been there since, like, I was born out of the hospital. Like, music was actually playing, and it was a song from Malaya Jackson called Move On Up A Little Higher. And oh. funny enough is that there's literally, like, my father, you know, especially since my parents were both in the hospital, they knew, well, my father knew exactly which part <laughs> that I literally was, like, I was out, you know. And <laughs> uh, the musical knowledge is um not only learning from uh from I guess because I feel like my big musical knowledge of how I've learned stuff was not just like the regular stuff like BT and MTV. Like my very first thing, I'm not sure if you guys have heard this. Like, have you guys heard of a music channel that is called The Box? The Box. No, I have not. Um So, okay, I'm explaining it to y'all. So the box is basically where it's a public access channel that shows nothing but music. And also on on the note, it would just be like interviewing like everybody else too. It ran from like the late 80s to like early 2000s. And what you do is that you call in. It it literally, I call it like, this was like TRL before TRL because you could call in. (laughs) 
and actually request like music videos to be played. And even if you had your own, if you send like a tape or even oh, when they got email and stuff, I know what you're talking you can about. Actually I, think- I've heard of that. I've heard of it years ago, but I didn't know you could like, you know, hey, I got a, got a mixtape, man. I want y'all to play that. Now, that you, I yeah, yeah. If you, I if you, I, I, the thing I don't know is was uh, where it's located, but probably like when I'll probably like share it, share it like once this is over, but like, um, yeah, if you could find like their office and stuff, you could like share like your stuff. Like you could actually have them play your music and even cool. I often think they played some international stuff too and they played the underground stuff too and speaking of oh, wow. Halloween like I know like one of the questions I've asked for the podcast was I was saying uh what was the first and favorite hip hop and right. for first hip hop it was during this time I believe I was one it was uh ICP and it was their song uh Halls of Illusion ICP Ain't Saint Clown Posse and what? fun fact I have the same birthday as the leader Violent J and it was like when oh, I was man. looking at it it was like oh my god they got the locks like it, it was like they had the locks it was just yeah. like it was it, it was like entering and it's like when I really got into that that was a bit later but like that was actually the first hip hop I've ever seen R&B wise was uh oh oh R&B wise was uh the late and great Aaliyah and oh, as as man the I love baby. Aaliyah so much man oh, man I remember as, my sister oh. like when I was growing up like we'd be like in the living room what song was that Rock and um, nah um no nah, not one that in one. a million nope uh ain't your number number are you that somebody oh okay. like, that was my first like song that was my first song dances in the living room yeah. duh, duh. we try to do the doubt and duh. the baby sounds would go in the background yeah <laughs> <laughs> right, my little baby my timberland that's what i know right Timberland. yep yep oh man yep that was that was actually my first song believe it or not when i was uh and i think the ICP thing, I think it played right after that. And if I remember, my parents right. said that they were in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. So when it happened, so when I saw what I saw, it's like when they came back, the music video was over. So it was like, yeah. and of course, as a baby, I don't know. It was just like, okay, this is interesting. But like, mm-hmm. I didn't really know about this until like I was 15. And this was, and then as far as favorite, them is, them is there. Like Missy's also my favorite, Crisscross, oh. and also Tyler Creator of Our Future. Those oh man, are, uh, I love Tyler Creator, man. He's so creative. And that's <laughs> actually how I found like uh, Litter Squad. And fun fact is that a year before that, um, that's there's cool. a time where um, my parents and I we went to Texas for a summer vacation at Slither Bomb. Uh-huh. When we oh, arrived right. back, I turned on MTV Jams, and oh, it yeah. showed trouble on my mind i knew who pusha t was because of yeah. Netflix, but i didn't know who the tall dude was and i was just like and my brain said this ain't gonna be the last time you see him and also i have for my main channel i have uh a video explaining of like how our future influenced and impacted me so i got a video for that i actually i'm thinking maybe one day i might do an icp video maybe maybe one day are you gonna put on the face paint or what are you gonna be a juggalo i don't know if i'll put on the face plate but I'll, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll probably like either have like a soda a fago or something something <laughs> i don't have a hatchet either so but i'll, I'll think of something it hey, probably might be next year or something like okay. i said i'm thinking it's, it's in the thinking chamber i feel you so where are you from originally man so right now, like I said, I'm not giving like exact locations here. No, so no, 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 no. Mailing so, address and like that. No, uh, <laughs> currently, I'm in Louisiana, but when I was first born, I was born in like Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. And uh, the part I'm in in Louisiana, like I said, I'm not doxing myself. No. Is uh in the Prairieville area that's like closer to like Baton Rouge and New Orleans at the same time. So I'm like okay. oh, gotcha. right in the middle of that. And I when I first got to uh because I was born in Atlanta and it's like at three was when well turning three is when I got here. It wasn't this specific house. 
it was um we lived in a different house in Baton Rouge and then almost 20 years we got here and, I, and let me tell you I have to say next year of 2004 being 20 years especially hearing you guys story there's so much has changed especially even for me even cuz that was the time believe it or not that's actually how and I made a video about these guys too is uh Puffy, aka Puffy Amiyumi, and uh, Shonen Knife, they were like my first Japanese group I ever seen, but I didn't even know, especially for Puffy, I didn't know they were actually a musical group. Especially did you watch the cartoon growing up? Yeah, I did watch the cartoon. Yeah. The thing was, because I didn't see their music videos and stuff outside of Cartoon Network, my yeah. brain was thinking like, maybe they're just comedians like that was where my brain was <laughs> like it took until youtube to figure it out and it's for shonen knife so kellogg's and cartoon network they did this thing where it's like if you uh uh a cd rom was inside and it was the cartoon network mystery cd rom and you put it in had special features and stuff and um it had the shonen knife of the soundtrack of uh powerpuff girls the first one Oh, and, wow. yeah. um, which is the best one. Yep. Yeah. And that was even in the same year. Well, not only like, you know, lots of other things was going on from here and like around the world. But this was also, believe it or not, the very first time I saw Ed and Nettie. And oh. two years prior before is the first time I saw my first anime, which was Hamtaro. And when I describe oh, it to oh, people, wow. I describe That's it funny. as uh, the, rug, the rug rat it, version. Yeah. This guy. I, I said it in your episode, and That's that why funny. he was like, I'm going to talk more yeah. about that. Like, oh, right, rug rats. I, really and got, it, I didn't even, really got it to him, Taro. Speak, speaking of Halloween, once again, is uh, my very first Halloween costume, and I'll also share a picture of it, is okay. I dressed as Yugi. That was oh. and, like my mom made oh, the jacket. Man. Oh. And it's like I had the pants, I had the wig, and hey. the rest of the Halloween until '09 because from that time I just didn't, I didn't want to trick or treat because I didn't want to be scared anymore. <laughs> and oh, it's like God. for that time period from '05 to '08, I was Spider Man the whole time. It is like, my go. last. You ain't go wrong. You go. Oh my god! It is like my last one was uh, Venom, but we all collectively said it's like he's the Black Spider Man. Right. <laughs> it's kind of like, true. Right. It's kind of true. Before Miles Morales, I know, right? <laughs> Here comes Miles. Like, I was in the nah, Spidey verse nah. before. <laughs> oh, okay, man. yeah. So that was how like I collected like all these things, and it's for for move. I I don't think I answered the question for movie making. Was oh no, you didn't. Oh no, no, he's in the movie. No. So for that, it was like my very first program I used when we got the Windows was the thing itself, Window Movie Maker. I'm all for using oh. all programs if you know if it just works, you know, and stuff like yeah. that. Then it gradually got to AVS Video Editor. Mm -hmm. After that, I've learned how to do it in the blue one, the blue Photoshop. You can actually make movies on the blue Photoshop one. And then uh, Final Cut Pro, and then lastly is uh, what I use today. Even as we're, uh, I'm editing our version of our episode, uh, iMovie. And often, like my posts, I often show like the either the finished product or just something where it's like, "See, guys, I'm I, I'm I'm finished. Like this is how I did it. Like literally did a BTS thing. And first time I did that was my SAT video, which is a uh, Taiwanese group that arrived um around 22 years ago and the thing about them is they released their first album in September of 2001 and that's where it just like cuts because it was like Dang. the worst day but it's like man they made the best first album ever so it was... <laughs> I thought but that it's went, like I thought that they're still to around real. and touring and stuff and <laughs> yeah so that was how I did movie making and even Putting it to YouTube, like even learning how to do that from that time, from 11 and uh, 13, and even coming back in 2018, 
it was oh. something because it was it was a new transition because like now I'm showing myself from that time because previously I just showed my favorite stuff and just be like I'm gonna just add this stuff I made adventures and stuff like that and it'd just be like that's the video and then it got into where I guess I show myself and it's amazing how like lots of it is going full circle to like like I just surpassed like the first year I was on YouTube and I think this might be the year I'm gonna surpass the second time and even fun fact Around two years ago was the very first time I started the uh, podcast. So, two thousand left. So it was like something. So even I'm sorry. It's like so no. to come up with the podcast. It was just something I had for a while. And even uh, believe it or not, like one of my episodes of Giant, they were actually supposed to be there, but we were trying to figure some stuff out. So um, it was just a self introduction, and then. We got the Aang Ping 18, and then, again, full circles later, we got Giant. So I just – and <laughs> even the theme song, I just made, like, a quick little thing after I napped. Well, I was living in Florida for college, and it was like I made a quick little beat, and it'd be like, that's the theme song. And it's just like – and then things I kind of want to do with the nature, like, I've actually have thought about, like, a little bit of like you know it'd be cool if i have other people to sing these vocals <laughs> for like the theme song but like i said it's a work in progress and um i i'm sorry if this was like a lot of information oh so, yeah, you know what uh, hey but you know what though so the kind of the cool thing about what you just did is you just answered some of the questions that we had so that's so man that's really yeah, 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 yeah. But, but yeah, but that's cool though. That's, that's nah, cool. At least you, you know, yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're just dropping gems of like yeah. who you are. And like, Thank this, you. Yeah. This about you. This interview is about yeah. you. You know, yeah. I'm not gonna be here. I, like, I'm, I'm, I'm re- I don't even know. I'm, I'm ready now. I'm ready now. Let, let, oh, you've been ready. You've you, been ready. <laughs> you're ready. I'm ready now. Yeah, I'm ready. What are you? SpongeBob? I'm SpongeBob. <laughs> what you got to do? I'm like, yeah. thank you for doing the work. Cause I ain't yeah. got to do nothing. <laughs> so, so Edo, Okay. So. Okay. So your first your first anime that you watched was Hamtaro. Right. Okay. Yeah. So let's ride this one. So what was the anime that you watched that you knew you were hooked into anime? Ooh, that's dope. I believe the anime that I watched that I got hooked, and even in the same realm, it became like my favorites of all time. Even yeah. despite even like earlier this year of doing like a tier list for it because it was uh-huh. just like oh this could be a cool new video idea and like i said before i continue if every anybody disagrees with the list we got there's a link below so you guys can make your own so it's all good so the moment i realized i was really getting hooked into this was this was my sister's favorite show and i made i did a video for that how blank created blank and still trying to think of ideas for that which was uh awesome and Boba Bo Boba Bo, those were the shows that literally was like, I love this. And hey, then I'm, that was also can you explain the, what Boba Bo Boba Bo Boba Bo was about. Huh? Can you explain what Boba Bo Boba Bo Bo was about? Let me go say that. Name. Oh, sure, sure. So this is a show. You can't explain that. that. Nobody can. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my best though. Okay, too. okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best though too. So this is about a show where um. Something like Pokemon, like they're trying to be like the best masters of like fighting per se. And um, the person uh, who played Beauty, rest in pe- for the English version, recipes to her because she passed away and she like did like uh, GTO, even the one of the female ninjas for Samurai X. So they were trying to be like one of the best fighters, and they just and Boba Bo, who he is. He's literally a dude that has a yellow afro. And what his superpowers is, is that he has like his superpowers is using his nose, his nose hair. It literally just like that's his superpower. And then he has like his friends, which is this blue guy named the Jelly Jiggler and this orange sun dude that's called Don Patch. And then makes like a, a gray haired dude that's named Gasser. And they meet more friends like that, even like a pink. Sir, I, I forgot he was. He looked like a cotton candy. I can't tell if they tried to make this dude a cotton candy or poop, but, but it's like <laughs> he's like they met that even torpedo lady, like all that stuff. They just 
they're just fighting and they just you know just to be like the best fighters and it's like really their adventures it goes from this is the funniest thing to the most wildest thing and the funniest thing about it is that even the characters themselves which is beauty and gasser they have like moments where their eyes like uh like the characters their eyes like not like actual pop out but there's like bug eye and they right. break the fourth wall it's like is are you really serious about like they're freaking out like we're freaking out and yeah. it's like this was like that moment where it's like i love this and even um i started to realize from that time when i was 10 it was like hey this stuff looks different than the stuff we got in the west even like you know oh, my man. favorite show that's in canada that show at a night that's in canada and it was like they just got it to be in like the U.S. And it was like, um, like that was the turning point where I was like, I love this. And even how I even got into Japan culture, believe it or not, memeable or not, or typical or not, like that's literally how. That like, um, that. do you, would you guys want me to explain Azerbaijan or do you guys know what that is? No, yeah, because he he was gonna ask. So go ahead and ask your question. Uh. And then first, all right, for, explain that because I had a question about something else. But sure, uh, sure. Um, the question I'm actually about, about your name is Edo really your birth name or? Oh, actually, like my name is uh, Eddie. It's Eddie. spelled differently, like than the show. Like, right. It, they spell it like D D D Y, and right. my is I E. Okay. And um, the other things like Hughes fourth because like my name is like i'm the fourth generation of like my father so it's like my father's the third my grandpa's the second my great grandpa's the first oh, wow. and how i came up with that name edo because i I feel like edo this error. is what we're leading into is um basically so that, again the show at a netty was uh there was this episode where they were playing with uh ed's little sister they were playing kings and queens and That's eddie terrible. had this puppet and he called it edo and the oh, other thing oh, was, I was wrong. <laughs> we the were other wrong. thing was is uh Japan before it was called Tokyo, they called themselves Edo or Edo, however right. you guys like to say. But and that's actually how I came up with the name Edo for. I it's funny because from my previous channel, like I remember my second channel before I had to really reboot it for the fourth time was <laughs> um it was like I had my name. And then the first YouTube channel, it was called Eddie Blue Knock. So that was, uh, so that was even, <laughs> so that's actually how I came up with the name Edo Ford was because of Ed and Eddie Japan. And it's like fourth is because, you know, it's not really taken away. It's, it's, it's like literally still my real name. I just shortened my name, you know, Damn, pretty I'm much like, that. um, like Papi Yami Yumi, like, uh, for the story of that. And that's in the video of like why their name had to be kind of like it's not it's funny because their name didn't really change they just add their real name to it so yeah. it's like oh it's still yeah. but in japan and everywhere else in asia they just still say puffy so it's it's like that didn't really make a difference but azumanga dio right azumanga dio so this show and next year again with 20 years will be 80 adv films they did an english version for it Right. And even two uh uh last year it was like the twentieth anniversary. One of their episodes came out on my fifth birthday in oh. like Japan, like two thousand two. So the show is about six or six or eight high school girls that are just journeying through life. And one of the uh it's hard to really say who's a main character because everybody just has like different stories. Even the teachers, they become the main character too. One of them, uh, the students named Chio, she's in high school and she's 10. She's like 10 years old. And then it's like, you know, when she graduates, she was 12. And she's, you know, she's smart and everything like that. But, you know, in the same time, she's like, you know, very young, impressionable, just like a little naive and like all, all the stuff of like what a kid is. But she's yeah. still smart. You know, she she has that smartness, charm and that was the thing that was really cool that was like wow because i always thought like that was always a cool dynamic is where like um to have like some a bit of the older kids to like look look into the younger kids because it's like 
even as a teen, you're still <laughs> technically like a kid. Even as uh the comedian Brett Ernest says, is that like when you're a teenager, you're a hybrid of like a kid, and you're trying to be an adult at the same time, but you're just you're you're sandwiched in because it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah, this is it, yeah, it's this one is of those true. things where it's, it's just like man, I it's like this. I forgot who said this story, but somebody literally said it's like man, I wanted to go gang banging. But I realized the new episode of Dragon Ball was out, so I. <laughs> hey, big time! I who hey said man, that I got to go, go Super Saiyan. I ain't got time for that. Yeah, right. But it was and that person changed their life forever. It was like because he didn't want to gang bang. <laughs> so new Edo, pulls out. I can't gang bang. <laughs> no, nah, I can't do that. So Edo, what's one of your uh, current favorite animes that you're watching right now? Current. Um, let's see. I think one of the um current ones I'm watching right now, I've been watching a lot of Isekai anime re- lately, which is like where you know someone dies, yeah, and they I'm basically sure. go back into the reincarnated back. as a toaster. Okay, so the, the, that not, is an not actual anime, that, but it's what, like they sometimes they can keep, sometimes they can keep their it is funny because I did watch the one with the uh the vending machine. I did watch that. That one. looks so crazy. I wanted to watch it though. I'm not gonna lie. I thought about watching it. I was like, what's wrong with your life? You are you a vending machine? Like, what did you do in your past life? It was crazy because he was just trying to save somebody, but unfortunately it that's what got him killed because he tried to save something where it's like, you know, if you could have just let that thing fall. You could still like like the thing like messed up enough like the Spider Man movie where it's like he didn't save the guy that was robbing yeah. because that led to uh, Uncle Ben and it's just like it's that even like the second one where it's like wow if you didn't save those kids you would have still had your job like <laughs> hey, man forget you dude it's dark bro <laughs> but that that's literally what we're it's like, man, bro. dang it's like because I did this it's like. And it's always like a reaction where it's like sometimes it's like sometimes it's like something you do it changed the life and then at the same time it's like dang I ruined a life at the same time I didn't know I could do both. It's right. life is unpredictable. That's yeah, all. That's I life. Think. That's life for you. you ain't but um, you? one of the um uh I guess one of the current ones I was watching uh. Hold up for a second. Like I'm gonna go real quick. Like I'm not leaving. I'm just looking at the name. Okay, so. This one was called like the Ice Blade Sorcerer Will Rule the World. That's the one I'm on. Oh, and okay. it's like basically it's funny because it's similar to another anime that and they call it like the Riz God. And like this, it's funny because I was just watching it last night and it's like, yo, people gotta hear this. Cause it was like there was one part where there was this girl, you know, she's mean and stuff, but you know, they literally had these characters like express their feelings really in the game i'm like wow this is new and like the you know she was like i just want to win for me like what is the point of going on if it's all for me and the guy like the main character is like well you have to find that reason of why you want to live i'm like yeah (laughs) there it is hey anime's always dropping gems man always it was it was what because i was just like wow when i often watch that those stories would go by like this. It's like, next plot. I'm like, wait, we're not going to address that that character wanted to die if you know. No, nah, no. We got adventures. <laughs> they don't worry about that, homie. Fan service. We don't have time. <laughs> but okay. this one, it went all in. And it's just like, wow, this is, this is an amazing change I've seen for anime. Especially, you know, of course, um, when it comes to it, I feel like another one, I, I don't know if this is a question or not, but I feel like I feel a prediction where it's like, um I it's like I feel like it was like which one I would often watch. It would mm-hmm. usually be dub, but often if I can't find the thing in dub, then I'm just gonna watch it in the subtitle. So I feel like I feel like that question was coming where it's like dub or sub. Usually dub, but if I can't find it or it's something where it's like, you know what? I got to see the tale of the OG and often I would watch anime in like sometimes Spanish, Korean. Either oh, I used to know. do that too. I used to watch it in oh, Spanish. Wow. I ain't gonna lie. And, and they, and they say, and they say like, that's the best one because they don't censor nothing. Oh no, no, yeah. not at all. And we don't, we don't, uh, 
language shame around here. Like, oh, well, we, we just had that conversation, didn't we? we yeah, were talking about that. We're, we're in the safe space in my videos. podcast. Yeah. Right. Although I want so um Jay was showing me today. I didn't see. So we did a um uh uh interview with a voice actor, and someone right. got got on there. I don't know why, because nobody asked you to get on there, but he's yeah. like, I don't know who this is. Long live the Japanese voice actor. It's like, I don't know who this is, nor do I care. Literally said that. Yeah. And he's like, long live the Japanese voice actor. Which, hey, cool. You like the 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 the, the sub over the dub, but my thing right. is... What? Nobody actually... Yeah, nobody. Why are you in front of him? Like, rapping on this individual who makes their, their, their work too out of this mug. And yeah. then it's like, okay, thank you for watching, I guess. Yeah, but, but I feel like this. Wow. If you're not yeah. part... Of the Japanese like culture, like this is right. this just my opinion. If you're not part of the Japanese culture, you have no right to tell yeah. anybody how they need to watch anything. You're just right. watching. When people say that to me, it's more of a pretentious thing, right? Because yeah. how can you tell if the voice acting is so great in Japanese? How can you tell? You don't even know. And then not just that. To add on to it, it's like if they will come through here, and especially if they know English, yeah. we would love to interview them. But since we know, and we live in the state of Texas, and a lot of the Funimation people live in like yeah. freaking Fort Worth, and one of them actually lives right, in right. I'll talk to them until then. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And those people, we were raised off them. Like the lady Thank we inter interviewed, Cynthia Kranz, she was part of our childhood. Right. So how are you gonna sit there and even fix your mouth to say something so crazy? Ooh, it, boy, if I just one of them trying to fucking reach to the screen, it just be like, rah, see your punk choke. Oh my god! Oh, this is gonna be the a first, good edit. First, 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 <laughs> first, first lock. <laughs> oh, so that I is did, um, crazy! Like yeah. why, that. Is control uh, problem. Yeah, that, I, that, that is like the one. It's like I couldn't even imagine doing that, even if I was dreaming or thinking about it. It's just like yeah, it's, I can't. I can't. Yeah, do it. it's so that's wrong. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Um, that's that's like if you did it vice versa. Like if the if if you did it like in Japanese or something. It's like. Why? Why would you? It's like the English word is better. The English is better. There's like, more jokes in there. Like, you know, oh, some silly stuff like okay, that. like get, shoo shoo, go away. I mean, I go mean, away. Do do you have do you have trolls be on your channel and be talking yeah yeah to you too? Right. Do you the trolls like, man? The trolls have, is something else, man. Well, it's wow. something. And it's different like every year because I believe even like. Now, I know, like, trolling was definitely different before I even got here. And when you guys were growing up, oh, it was always different. But it was like, this is a whole, like, even, like, um, speaking of, like, YouTubers and stuff. So, uh, Jack's Films, like, he's doing good. But, unfortunately, like, he, like, caught wind of, like, Sniper Wolf. And what she did was, like, showed his address and even went to his house. And it's like, oh, bro. Nice. No that is like that. FBI stuff. Like oh, you what can't you do? That. It's like, mm. and the whole thing was is that because it was the whole thing where you know Jack was just calling her out, and like the thing was, it was just like that's how she took it. it was like I'm gonna show your whole career. I'm gonna show your hemisphere. I'm like, yeah. uh, damn, no, nah, you know, that you that is that. instantly like that's how we bring prison. out yeah. to marry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, no Even kidding. Doxing, I've, I've, it's just like. Yo, are you really that? Like, I can't imagine being that upset, mad, or anything to be like, I doxed them or I showed location. Oh my god, it's wild! It's wild out here in these yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. I always feel even like pranks. It's just like that's not a prank. You literally tried to kill somebody. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's constant. Yeah, that. no, you can't do that. I just feel like if you don't <laughs> like something on the internet, like. The option, you get off. the option of logging off, like yeah, it's like no, nah, I'm off, good. Please. I'm like, I, like if I get that mad, no, I'm good. I'm gonna go do something. Yeah. I'm okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. I've been offended before. I've been like, oh, I don't like it. I'm like, yeah, keep it going. Yep. Like, no, I just, yeah. just scroll up. Yeah, That's all you can up. do. Yeah. That's yeah. all you should. It's like, and I know a lot of people was like, it is different in real life, but it's like even in real life, I'm like. I could walk away from this. Thank I you. can pretend yeah, I wasn't it's there. Easy. It's so easy. I mean, you oh. know, I understand. Sometimes people we get caught up in things. That's human experience, human emotion. But bro, you just gotta just like no. Yeah, there's uh, there's one more story I got for y'all. So 
There's yeah. like an interview from, uh, and I think of this interview a lot. It was from Vlad, and he was interviewing the comedian Godfrey, and they were like talking oh, about like no, cyberbullying and like <laughs> with uh, with it was like the thing where it's like it's like if you log off, it's like switching schools. It's like no, it's not. No, no I, yeah, I, but I remember I, that interview. That interview was like about two, three years ago. I, I remember that man because Vlad was like, I don't believe in internet bullying. He said you can just log off. The fuck, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know exactly. What you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, some people, some people take things to heart, you know. But you just gotta be like too heart. Yeah, yes. you just gotta it's say, man. Heart. You just gotta put it down. So, Edo, all right. So, I got some questions for you. You hit us with yeah. some rapid fire questions. So, all I got right. some questions for you. You wrote down all questions. Right. No, I found some. I, I've been saving these things because I wanted to post them, but I figured it would be a good thing for our interview. Yes, sir. Yeah. So. You seem like a man of culture. You feel like you watch a lot of anime. Yeah. Um, just real quick before we start, what is your preference of anime? So I know you like the isekai. Do you like the shonen fighting animes? And it, it seems like you. It seems like you favor more of like the slice of life. Anime. I think when it comes to preferences, I think even like when it came down to the tier list, I think I'm pretty much like down for anything like literally like it could be about a good story yeah it's just it's like even the most like even like the explicit anime like explicit of language and stuff like that it's like hey as long as it has a good storyline like i'm down even um because i feel like even in the realm of like what anime would i live in probably like the place of like sailor moon i guess because it would be like there's lots of adventures and at the same time i could just chill out because it's like i have a good because that's where i would stand like for anime and stuff even like if i were to say create one it's like yeah i have enough action and i have enough time to cool down just be like yeah that that that'd be the place i would want to live in and you know what and that's kind of dangerous though you know it's kind of dangerous but, to be there to live in the, the world the moon? because you could become tuxedo mask. Like, is that what you want? Why do you hate him so much. Is that what dude? you want? Come on. Like, do you want to be tuxedo mask? <laughs> I don't think I'd be tuxedo. He's the most I think I live- anime character. Dude, he y'all hate on Sakura, but he's a he's a million times worse than Sakura. All he does is throw a rose. I think you press R2 to call him out, bro. That's what he is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I would be Tuxedo Mass. I think I would just be like either. Um, I guess it's hard to say because I guess I probably would be like the other guardians, not, not like the right. way that they had it in the last season, like just like literally be like, yeah, I'm gonna protect you guys, and even like the one I would protect the most because I'm like. I think she really needs this is uh Usagi aka Serena. I just be like, listen, listen, I know it's hard, but it's like you got this. Yeah, I believe in you. I'm not gonna give up on you. I'm not gonna call your name. You got this. You 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 got not even as simping, but just literally it's like, no, no, no. I understand. I, I it's hard. I got it, I got it. But you can do this. That's why they chose you, right? <laughs> yep. I don't want to get out of bed either. I ain't mad at you, Sailor Moon. I, 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 I ain't mad at you. At you. Me I day. feel I feel like, I'm I wouldn't want to get up either. Um, okay, so you you basically like any anime that has a good story. I feel like we're both kind of the same way, right? As long as it has a good story. Right, right. So good. It seems like you watched a lot of anime, so let me bring this up here. Okay. Okay. So which character shown or which character I'm gonna give you some names. So okay. which character receives the most help during battles? It's Naruto from Naruto, uh Asta from uh, Black Clover. Tanjiro from Demon Slayer, mm. Deku from My Hero, Goku from Dragon Ball, and uh, Natsu from uh, Fairy Tail. Wow. Who do, think, who do you think receives the most help? Who receives I have the most my help? answer. I, I actually know who it is. I, I, I know who it is. In my um, opinion. Could you repeat it again? Okay. Which, uh, which character receives the most help during battles? Okay. Uh, Naruto, Asta, Tanjiro, Deku, Goku, or uh, Natsu. Ooh. Like back home. Yeah. It's so hard because literally if you put them all together, they all just helped each other out. Yeah. But I'm uh I'm gonna say uh Tanjiro, man. Like mm. I think Tanjiro probably receives the most help because everybody on this list has something, a, yeah. For lack of t- better term, caught a body on their own. They've been right. able to be the, be the villain by themselves. 
Right. If I remember, I'm sorry. Like I don't know if you read the manga for Demon Slayer. I don't know. Okay. Right. Tan man, Tanjiro has not been beat a single demon by himself. Really? One. -on -one. Really? No. Damn. Tanjiro is um, is he the main character or the yellow hair dude? Oh, he's the he's the main character. Yeah, he's the main okay. character. Yeah, gotcha. so him, in my opinion, Deku's beat one villain by himself, at least. Right. He's it's funny because I actually was about to say, De I actually thought the question was like, who is receiving the most? Like, while they fight, it's like they're getting all the help while in battle. I actually was going to say Deku, actually. Deku? Um, uh, I'm not mad at that. That actually is kind of good. I'm not, that, that's, that's not a bad answer because he gets a lot of help. But right. in the and movie, it's, it's, he beat a villain by himself. So I give him props. It, That's all it is something where it's just like if the chips are down, it's just like it, it literally he does it's like half the time he literally didn't even like there's moments where it's like, yo, he literally killed the damsel in distress uh thing, the the trope. He killed that. And it was just like yeah. Wow, he's about to die, and it's like, oh, here we go. We're here, we're here, Deku. Don't die on us. <laughs> it's about, and it's like Deku died, but it's about chance. <laughs> Dying breath and everything. It's Damn, like, you're like... I, oh, that was always interesting <laughs> when they fight in well. anime and just be like, yo, they gotta go to the hospital, son. Like, I don't think you should leave them out for one other second right now. <laughs> They would be bruised up and they'd just be like, all right, I'm ready to fight. And it's like, fam, you were crippled out. Like, literally, everything is hanging, bro. Like, and it's like, I'm ready to fight the next. I'm that's like, why Deku's that dude, man. He, yeah. That's why. He, yeah, just get yeah. on, on one of our other podcasts uh, with our guys, the Phantom Nerds, I asked them all, which character would you defend with your life? Like, and I'm going to ask you that too. Right, so right. Get ready. Um, Okay. Like basically, like a character you would defend with your life, and by that I mean, people may talk trash about this character, but you will always defend this character. Yeah. Mine is Deku. I always defend Deku because I think Deku is a great, a great main character. Yes, he had to eat some hair to become a hero. He had right. to do it. That's okay. He had to eat hair while he had to yeah. eat the hair cake. Yep. Filthy <laughs> Frank. <laughs> you crazy? You crazy? You crazy? <laughs> But I mean, I think it's a good story of like hard work, you know. Uh, yeah, works out at the end of the day, yeah. man. And I like characters like that. They like, like, yeah, he was given a gift, but like he couldn't just. Oh, I'm OP. Like, nah, yeah. he did. He, yeah. he had to work into work. it. To like work. he gradually got stronger. Yeah, yeah exactly. He had to yeah. work. Constantly. A character I would have to defend, man. It's funny because I said Usagi, but I'm like, ooh, wow, like a character that I literally. Because it's so crazy, like, the ones I've watched over the time is just, like, like, most time, I think the character I would have to fight for my life for, it would be, I forgot the name of this character, but you guys remember an anime that was called Dead Man Wonderland? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would fight for his life to be like, listen, you guys got the wrong guy. He didn't do nothing. <laughs> that would be the guy. He I had a horrible a life. Like, could you like, imagine being a little kid and just be like, nah, you're going to jail, fam. And you're going to jail with all these crazy murderers. Like, And it was for a crime he didn't even do. It's just yeah. like, that's the story of our life. Yep. That's the story yeah, of our wow. life. Yeah. <laughs> For a you crime he didn't even do. Right. Welcome to our life. Right. <laughs> so, um, you know, I got a question. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've watched uh, some some videos like hell since the first time you even talked to us months ago, earlier this yeah. year, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, you've seen us a couple of them too. What got you so fascinated by the Japanese culture? Because you were like into the music and everything. Right. And I'm like, this dude be digging in this. Yeah, oh, man. And I ain't gonna lie, I was like, okay, you did say, you know, Japan, like Edo, the Edo era, you know, I'm like, right, that right, happened right. just that. And that's why I asked about your name. So what got you in the Japanese culture, homie? I think what got me into it was, um, so right back into uh, Shonen and Puffy, I think the mm -hmm. thing that really cemented it to be like, yo, I think this is the new path now is, um, so I did a video about these guys around a year ago was uh Barry's Kobo, aka Barry's Workshop or Factory. 
And the thing was, I was on this website called Foreshare, which was kind of oh, like yeah. YouTube, but it's like you could download stuff directly. And the very first video I saw, it was called Koi no Jubaku, which is like love spell or spell of love. And oh, yeah. the thing I saw from that, it made me think of Azuma Godal because that's why I liked it. And it was like, it was because it was like, at well, now when they graduated and stuff, it was like, because at first it was like eight of them and then it was seven. Even the whole premise of like idol culture, I got into that. It was um they were really like the first group I saw outside of TV. And even um figuring out that uh so I recently remember vaguely seeing some stuff. Like Madonna had a music video where she was in Japan, and even the killers, they had this music video called Can You Read My Mind, which had this this uh kids show monster this green monster and i was just like oh i vaguely remember this and even just <laughs> i would say um i think it's because it's just i guess it's been all around me and it's like i guess like a calling and it was just like you gotta listen to this music and even like because the stuff i was listening to now like in the states it's like it ain't hitting i gotta listen to something different wow. and then even um Fun fact is like my very first restaurant as a baby was a hibachi grill. And I've said to my mom, it's just like, you know, mom, this whole Japanese culture has been around us for forever. Even my mom, before like the year she met my father, she did reports about Japanese culture of like how they live. And she didn't even know what? about it until I got here. Like not born, but like when I started to get into not even just, you know, the music, the idol, like it was even more of the snacks the food and even it, i've even crossed to be like now i know thailand music now i know the korean the oh, russian wow. the span it just it it was just an open thing where it's like because of this moment but but the very first thing that actually led to it and unfortunately she is gone uh coco lee like when i there was a song she had that's called do you want my love? I vaguely remember it. And then when I did the report, I'm like, so this is actually the first Asian artist I've ever seen in my whole life, which she's from Hong Kong and she grew up in Cali as well. And that was, I think she was actually more of the reason why I really got into it, especially because she did her thing where it's just like, which was new at the time was to be like, I'm going to be an artist in America too. Because it's like she was yeah. an artist in Hong Kong and still, right. you know, even before passing away, still is. And even like cross genres to Korea and Japan. But she even in the midst of it says, I want to be an English artist like Yutada Hikaru. They literally both yeah. did it. And oh, it was, yes. And it was just like, like, like um, when she did it, like, you will never guess actually how like that idea came about. Guess? who she toured with for the Benefit concert in Korea, and she's from Hong Kong. Guess who it was for their Benefit concert? No idea. Let us, fill us in. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. And it was like... And and even, like, the whole thing of, like, when she was saying her premise, MJ literally said to her, it's like, it's about time. Like, it's it's like he knew, and it was like, even... If you guys remember the Scream music video... Right. It showed anime in the background. It was just like... Oh, yeah. I remember I just... watching that video at my uncle's house in Colleen, Texas. Right. Uh, my uncle's in the military, so... It's a military hmm. town. Oh, okay, yeah. He's, he's on military home. kids. I, yeah, so I remember going there and watching that video, and I was like, yo, there's anime in the back. What? I'm like, oh, Michael and Janet over here dancing, tearing it up. Like, oh, anime. I know that. <laughs> Even like the setting, like, we were, like he's yeah. meditating and it's just like, I think he's trying to sell us something. <laughs> right. Like, and even like 40 years of thriller, I'm like, has it been that long? I, <laughs> even the whole thing was just like, I'm getting that I way. like, when I was getting into him, it was just like two years before he passed on. And it was just like, it was something where it's like, I have to listen to him. I got to listen to this guy's music. And it was like, and to learn that he was just so magical anyway. Like, it's literally like, if you try to talk trash to him in any other country, you will die. You will literally be yeah, dying. He's, or he's like, like, <laughs> it's funny. I'm, I'm going to take a quote from Vlad like you did, man. He's uh, next to Jesus, the most known man in the world. 
You know, if you like talk Coca-Cola. about him, they're just yeah. ignorant. That yeah, is ignorant, right? <laughs> um, you know, you so, so I got a quick story about my, this is how I knew Michael Jackson is one of the greatest artists that's ever lived. <clears> one day, I think we were all at Genghis Grill. Uh, okay. Me and my wife, my, um, uh, I think I believe, I believe you were there. Okay, and your, our families were at Genghis Grill, and Michael Jackson's song "Beat It" came on. Right, everybody was in there singing. <laughs> like I've never seen this in my life. It was like a real episode of Glee High School. Oh Glee. wow! Everybody was just singing. Like you couldn't help it. Right. I've How never long ago was that? Huh? How long ago was that? How long ago was that? Um, maybe like four or five years ago. Yeah, that mm. yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. What is, is oh, Genghis yeah. Grill like a restaurant like where you guys? Oh, Genghis eat? Grill is yeah. is basically like uh Mongolian like stir fry. Yeah. Okay. So you go Mongolian there. stir fry. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it used to be really good, but no, it's, it's pretty mid it. now. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, yeah. pretty bad. Yeah, pretty out of all that, the that, snacks that, that are coming out and stuff now, even uh like I've that's like been the, another thing was just like wanting to like eat different food. Even like often when I eat the snacks and stuff, it's like and my first different snack i tried was uh from japan right. was uh pocky and the reason why was uh it was this group that became uh one of, it's like and they're still around now even though it completely changed and it's a group that started the year i was born uh mm-hmm. morning musume it, uh musume is japanese for daughters and let me tell you it was like that was what got me into pocky but the thing about their legacy from the beginning to now it's like it's unmatched. It was like because the thing from that it was like their label, Avix, and I think the international labels of Japan was run in Japan. Like oh, and Johnny's, Johnny's Junior. That was that was run in Japan, man. Like from the nineties to the mid, the early and mid two thousands, they were they were killing it in Japan. And even like record labels of Korea, like it's just like it's amazing of like what is like around the world, and it's like. And then our music is in there somewhere. It's it, it, it's is in it there. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool, man. Thank you me. love Japan. Ah, we can see. Yeah, it. And, and it's it is like written all. I feel like you just as soon as you start talking about it, you start doing that. You cheesing, yeah, but that's man. cool though, man. That's cool. You have so much passion about it. Oh, uh, right. I uh, sh- I actually just recently. So one of my uh my friends, uh, his brother went to Japan. And he Ooh. brought me back uh, some candy. Yeah. So, so I, because I'm apparently I'm a monster. I tried to share this candy with my family. They all hated it. So what? I, so they, it was like these Kit Kats, but they were like oh. green. Oh, tea different Kit flavors, oh, right? Yeah, they were like they green tea Kit Kats. Kat. They're the best. Like the green, like for me, it was an interesting taste. It wasn't oh, yeah. bad, but it was interesting. My family hated it. I was a oh monster. the the matcha tea the green tea green tea right yeah, yeah. and then yeah, I had yeah. I had a matcha one uh, I had yeah. that one was, that one was okay yeah, it was a story it's about uh, uh not 1960 uh 45 and I forget where yeah. but they had they had them at the, not a restaurant but a store it was like yeah. an Asian mart I had uh, the, oh, stra- the yeah the strawberry the strawberry one was, yeah. was strawberry, good yeah like, that rocks and I had some pop- I like the purple one. The purple one, I haven't had that one. I had it was, the, I think it's called like Peach Cobbler. That's the oh, one. Yeah, oh, yeah, no. that's interesting I can never eat that. I am like, yeah. I guess maybe from as being a kid, when I would wash dishes at home, uh, you know, my mom would make Peach Cobbler. Yeah. And yeah. I can't stand the smell of it. Like, if I smell oh, still, it, yeah. it makes me throw it. It makes you ill, yeah. I'm like, wow. Yeah, like the, the juices like that. That's why like, yeah. if I get like any of my clothes, I smell that. I'm like, oh my God. Because it, it becomes like funky. Yeah. Oh, I know you talking I can't about smell that. Oh. Right. Yeah. Um, speaking of Kit Kats, so uh, there's this channel, they call themselves the SYR SYR Bros. Yeah. And they like do like they just do a lot of stuff. And the thing that was interesting about these three kids is that um they speak English like very fluently. And it, like the thing is, is like they never moved abroad. They just really like love English. And um, that's just how like everybody connected with them. And they just like did stuff like that. It's like, we're going to review all the Kit Kat flavors. And even it's like, it's like you're living in Japan from your own perspective. And it's like, and you're a kid at the same time. And (laughs) I heard that you guys are from Texas. So I have a few friends that are from Texas, even some guests I've interviewed or people I've known that's from Texas. And they also 
Fun fact, my my mother was actually born in Lubbock and then grew up oh, oh, in wow. uh, Cali. Oh, okay. So that was like one interesting, it's like uh, a little knowledge. And like even that place I was going to, but when I saw Tyler the first time, mm -hmm. uh, that was in Texas, Slitter Bomb. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, did you go to the one in uh, Galveston or the one to New Braunfels? I think we went because the name Galveston, because that's the one, I guess, because it was closer, I guess, to Louisiana. Yeah, it, it would be closer because uh, Galveston yeah. from Houston is only 45 minutes away. Oh, did you go to Bubba Gump's, the restaurant there? Like on the outside of Slitter Bubba Bubba Gump's? Gump's? Yeah. Bubba Gump's, yeah, it's like a restaurant in Galveston. I've heard about that place. Even like yeah. uh, when I was this year, like all like uh, different parts so of the United States. They so got good. one in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. I've been to that one, and then they got one here in uh, well, over there in Galveston. And they have one in New I, York too. Yeah, I, I, I think that. also from my shirt, like because um, one of my presents, my graduation present, we yeah. went to Universal, and oh, I think God. they have it over there too. Oh, probably got. Oh, no, nice, yeah, nice. probably Orlando. Yeah, it, 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 there's only a few locations they got them at. So mm. yeah. And we happen to get lucky to be like 45 minutes to an hour away, you know? Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Oh, my God. I can't believe I didn't even think to ask you this. It just popped into my head right now. What's that? Okay. Have you ever been to Japan? Yeah, I get that a lot. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, it just popped into my head. What? I didn't think of that. Yeah, I know, like, have you ever been? And if you haven't, why? <laughs> listen, I haven't, but listen, it's like the thing I am trying to do is, I guess, I feel I'm actually, I have a feeling that next year it might be possible since everything has been full circle i guess from that time but mm -hmm. really like yeah no and it's because of like youtube and it's like literally internet stuff is literally how i started to learn it and stuff like that but really i know it's like it's like why how come money i mean, would you oh, try yeah, to okay. money to get I'm, I'm not mad at that oh uh, my uh so me and my son want to go really bad. My my wife and kids, they want to go, but like we're going on a cruise next year. But mm. I'm trying, I don't want to go. I want to go to Japan. You going? I know I'm going. You're going because I'm going to. I know. I know. You know like he, he, yeah, I don't really like the cruise big or Japan. Fan of boats. Yeah, yeah. Not a big fan of boats. Boat. But I really want to go to Japan. You're going. Um, which so um, I'm sorry. I was gonna ask like which part would you want to go to? Like because there's lots of regions. Oh, I, I want to go to Shibuya, to Tokyo, of course. Um, oh, Shibuya, huh? yeah, Shibuya. Oh, yeah. Hey, man, the Shibuya incident happened in Jujutsu Kaisen, bro. I got to see where they still go. Hey, did you ever see the Shibuya? Uh, not Shibuya. Oh, wait, oh, that's uh, Shinjuku. My bad. The Shinjuku, Shinjuku incident with Jackie Chan. You ever seen that movie? Yeah. That's a good movie. Oh, it's a movie. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what happened? No. <laughs> it looks I, like, yeah. I think it's like, yeah. it like a bunch of freaking Chinese like refugees like shipped off there. Right, I, right, right. Yeah, on the beach. That's how they started the movie, and then like they just ran past this cop, like a Japanese cop, and it was like a region. Uh, I forget what part. I guess it just. Well, I mean, I should bully you, but uh, uh, Shinjuku. Shinjuku. Yeah, Shinjuku, yeah, and like yeah. it was like a Chinese region, and but like they were doing like some bad stuff over there. And Jackie Chan's. There's a movie, by the way. Yeah. I, I'm assuming based off a real story. I haven't checked it out. I think I've, it is. I've even before like you continue. I've mm. even like I've studied it enough to realize like if I was there, I would realize like which part. All of us, like, because I, like, I have a little sibling, and like, mm -hmm. where will we, we would be raised into? Like, I have a feeling for sure I would have been born in Tokyo, and I would have been raised in Osaka, because Osaka, it's very like like this. It's it's like California, but at the same time, they got the southern vibe. So it's like, okay. so that's how I I studied it that much to be like, damn, I think this is what my life would be. <laughs> And it's like I'm the same age as Naomi Osaka. Like I'm little oh, okay. age, and even, uh, even like a big another artist that's really big in Okinawa. Like she retired a few old. years ago. Uh, Amuro Namie. Her son is literally the. We're both the same age. We're yeah. I'm literally the same age as her son. Oh, I feel like, okay, I'm gonna let you guys go with the question. And I remember something about One Piece. So. We'll go with that, and then I got something for One Piece. Oh, just... ironically enough, one of my main reasons for wanting to go, I mean, of course, uh, they wanted to go to Japan for Japan. Yeah. I want to find all the one, me. I want to find all the One Piece statues that are like... Mm, oh, wow, and I've heard of that, yeah. I want to yeah. go and, like, take a picture. I want to hug every single one. And yeah, just like... Don't ride that bullet train uh, like some bitch damn, bro. Oh, my God. That would be yeah. nice. Yeah. Um. So, One Piece, so... 
I think you guys, and it's like, it's one of the popular songs from, I forgot if it's the opening or ending, uh, called Belief. Oh, yeah, it's the opening. From uh, Folder 5. Fun fact, and I did a video about these guys. Uh huh. There was a group the year I was born, and there's, I don't know if you guys know this artist, Daichi Mura. Uh, nope. No, okay, no. so basically, he, these five girls were in a group previously called Folder. And it was like Daichi, another dude, and five of the girls. And it was like they broke up three years later because the main leader, he was going through puberty and like he was chosen because he had the Michael Jackson voice. And uh, I did a video and crazily <laughs> enough, it became one of my most popular videos like for my main channel. And even like the thing for Daichi is um, I know he released like a recent song. I forgot. I think it's called Spiral, but one of the most popular songs he released was uh the song for Broly. Like even did the English version of the song too. I was just like, oh, wow, it's the second time. Yes, I did say it's the second time he did like second or third time he did an English version because believe it or not, Folder, they had a song that was for an, an anime called Micro Man, which is kind of like Transformers, but it's like they're humans too. And he did a song I want you back. They did a song I want you back three years before. I mean, not three years, three days before, three to five days before MJ's birthday. And it's just like, oh, so he sung the song in Japanese and English and ABC in English and Japanese too. And it's like, <laughs> no, one, it's like one of their popular songs along with, uh, probably a wrong with, uh, Power Shooter and also like Rock, Paper, Scissors. Pop, which is like junkin, they call it. They say junkin. Yeah. It's like they even like the show that soundtrack. It's that Green Monster show called Pea Kikes, and it's like it's a popular kids show along with Oha Star and like Oha Star. They often just have like Pokemon stuff all the time, and I'm like, oh, if you're a Pokemon star uh, fan, this show is for you, Oha Star, and it's and it's a show again that continues the years since I was born. Still yeah. going. And it's like, yo, if you're a Pokemon fan or anime fan, this show is for you. Oha Star, like all them, because they just talk about Pokemon cards and stuff like that. I'm like, and it's like, yo, this is a good show. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Well, this has been a good yeah. episode. Yeah. Oh, this, I, man. <laughs> This is a, this, this has been a great episode, man. You are, you know your stuff. You do. You know Very your nice. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, man. You are, wow. This has been fun. Yeah. And uh, once again, you know, thank you so much for having us come on your show, too. It yes. was, we had a oh, really great time. Thank, thank you, you for coming for to our me. show. We had a great time. Um, if you can, let the people know where they can find you, where they can reach out to you and chit-chat with sure, you. Sure, I got you. So um, where you guys can find me is... um, So I have um, Edo Numo 4, which is spelled as uh, E-D-O and... U M O I V, but often okay. to find my name on YouTube, uh, type in E D O spacebar. Don't type the word spacebar. E D O I V. <laughs> and as far as other uh social handlers, I have Facebook, which is uh Edo Hughes I V. Instagram is at uh E Hughes I V. And my Twitter, aka X, is going to give it to you. I um, my Lego. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right, man. And you can find your boys uh, at Fusion High Podcast. You can catch us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, or X if it's feeling nasty. Hey, you, can, you can find us on our YouTube channel. Let us know what you think. Check out our videos, man. We just did some great interviews with Cynthia Kranz. Yep. With Adam Gills, man. We have a lot of content coming. We're almost at our 100th episode. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, JB, hit them with the rest of the stuff, bro. Oh, the audios, uh, Amazon Music, iTunes, iHeart, uh, Stitcher, Bullhorn, no BS, and wherever you find your podcast. Oh, and if you want to reach out to us, apparently we have a future hot email that we've neglected to give the people for yeah, 500 man. years so if you want to reach out and talk to us any episode ideas anything you want to talk about right talk to your boys uh fusion high 1229 at gmail.com yep reach out let us know what you think yeah 
Uh, once again, Edo, thanks for coming Thank on. You. Thanks for having us on your show. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man. Well, Jay, let's go ahead and knock this thing out, bro. All right. All right, man. I'm Chad. And I'm Jeremy. And this is Edo. The hey. Fusion High Podcast. <laughs> okay, we'll go with that. And, uh, <laughs> it's Edo and um, talking phone with Edo too. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Thank you. Be a part of this. Be a yeah, part of it. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. Well, it's Fusion How we out this day. Hi. Woo! There you go. There you go.